bitch, you choose you. This that swing, swing. bitch, let go, go. Ride that way. way, tell me where to go, go. On my way, way. make that bend yeah. Shots on me, little, little mama, mama, what up? Let me stop that ice, shawty drop that thing Baby got back ice, let me rock that I'm just playing, you know it's all up be slaying Track after track, legendary balls I be laying, especially when you got Stevie Stone and Jake Prime And spit metaphors and great rhymes, I ain't lying Step on the scene, baby on my arm Squad in attendance, about to hit the bar Shots for the whole team like a shoot around Then I call the whole game like I'm Hubert Brown Handle my liquor like I'm the bartender Do watch it like a new club and put a bar in there You're dealing with a whole team Got that bag, so shot you choose. Just that swing. swing, bitch. Let go, go. ride that way. way. Tell me where to go. go. On my way, way. make that bend. Shots on me, little mama. What up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? What's going on, man? Catch a vibe radio in the building. You feel me? You already know what this is. Wild or not Mondays. You know what I'm saying? And we got a little legend in the building. You feel me? We got the homie, Stevie Stone. What's going on, G? What's good, my G? G. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number one, uh, I said it before I'm saying it again. It is an honor and a privilege to meet you, bro, to uh, actually have this privilege. You know, for everybody, anybody that's been living under a rock. You know what I'm saying? Just let them know just a little bit who Stevie Stone is. Yes, sir. Like I remember uh the very first time I heard of strange music. Like what's crazy is when me coming up in to music when i first started i wasn't a uh, uh, hip-hop head i was just doing something that was cool and then like i ended up growing into learning the the love of it so the people that were really putting me on like they'll say stuff like yo this person is good or joe budden is good i'm like joe budden you talking about the pump 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 it up dude or cassidy is i'm like cassidy you talking about the girl i want to go to my hotel nigga they was like boy you sleep put me on some of the stuff that the radio be playing yeah, and i'm like yeah. dang which that introduced me to strange music where i got to learn about you. so i was just like oh, mind blown about what lyricism is so you know you being a part of strange music is something huge like how did that even come about to uh get on their radar like what was that like uh i used to open up for them when they came through like columbia st louis with uh, me and tank had already we're on the front uh, I was actually with Rufus. I went on tour with him, but I was with Rufus Records. And, uh, you know, his fan base was like to be. It was just supposed to happen at that one time. So it just organically. Yeah, and then that worked. That's, that's what's up, bro. So um, when music, just, just take me through the beginning of when you knew rapping is what you wanted to do, like what year, where were you at? What was that like? It was uh, 2000 and on the stage at the fairgrounds. Uh, Tech was actually on that same show. That was the same show that him and uh, Travis decided to do uh, Strange Music. Uh, I think like Out of Order, Twister. There was a bunch of folks, it was like a big festival. But I was in high school when I did that. And that's when that's when I. Yeah. That's, that's dope man so uh what would like did you get into recording in the studio uh early or like just let's just go through that first year of all right after this point you already know what music is i want I'm, I'm interested in, in that journey of getting into the studio for the first time yeah so the studio back then it wasn't like as accessible as it is now you feel me so i think we was able to perform, but it was like once a week, every Saturday. You feel me like in the only garage. You know what I'm saying? Then if there's something going on, we couldn't record that Saturday. And then I started going to uh, 
driving up to Kansas City and I was out there and I started recording more. As years progressed, just getting more around, good equipment and able to get it done. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you listen? You you listen to your old stuff and be like, man, I can't believe I rhymed that with with that, or you know, you were one of the ones that started out nice. Ah, no, nah, I don't. I don't really listen to the old shit. You know what I'm saying? If they play it, I'd be like, dang, I definitely hear the growth, uh, texture of my voice that feels different. You know, so all those things, but I can tell I was young, and developing. You know what I'm saying? Like my first album. Uh, with Ruthless New Kid coming to my latest album, which was Raising the Bar, it's definitely night and day. You know, you know. So, you ever dealt dealt with that thing where it's like, you know, from family and close friends, where they are more like they look forward to hearing some of the older stuff, and it's like, all right, my new stuff, like way harder. But you know. Uh, but you know, a lot of them, I guess, because that it was the beginning for them as well as it was the beginning for you. They prefer listening to the older ones. I don't think that's really preference because they like the newest stuff too. But everybody got their favorite records from different albums and periods of time. You know what I'm yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah, I asked that question. Uh, I, obviously, I experienced it, per, you know, uh, personally through me. Uh, but uh, you know, a, a lot of different rappers I know, different cats I know, they are. Uh, you know, people, you know, hit them up, be like, yo, we want to you know, uh, hear this joint or that joint and be like, like, damn, bro, like the lyrics are so much harder. And one thing I think I, I, I want to say, I test that to our situations like, uh, you know, people are like in toward the beginning stages before you really are in the door doing things. They have that immediate, oh, you rapping? Oh, immediately people don't understand the journey that it is to do music how long that journey is to take it before you actually get some type of recognition so right, right. I'm, I'm like when it comes to uh family and friends they feel like oh you know you're gonna pop immediately so that leads into this next question um uh, with friends and family for that support system number one what was that support system like when you starting on the journey and getting into it and did you deal with you know people falling off because they probably thought it was taking too long or like explain in that. I mean, I think all of that, because they was always supportive, you know what I'm saying? They seen it and believed in it. It was far as from coming, falling off, part of life. You know what I'm saying? Heard people believe in it, you know what I mean? Have different motives. You know what I'm saying? It's part of life. Yeah. So what? So in, in your uh, in your personal uh, opinion, what do you think your uh, your hardest your hardest verse is and why? I got a long catalog. I've done did a lot of music, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. I feel you. And, 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 and I'm asking it because I understand you definitely got a deep catalog. As, as a lyricist like uh just 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 to throw flowers because i feel like in the industry flowers ain't thrown on this enough but love cadence love that you you uh you do the elements of of rap like uh, of when it comes to being a lyricist love your rhyme schemes love the you know how you do your delivery i love that things ain't never just always exactly the same so you know with things like you know how to have the, the you know double xl uh the ciphers and just just this new uh this, this new wave of rap um where are you at uh, when it comes to this new wave of rap do you think it's something that's bad for the game or are you just one of the ones that are like you know it's just a new thing music evolves music music evolves you know what i'm saying i think that uh, i definitely don't hate anything you know what i'm saying i think that there's channels for all dips and different types of hip hop or rap, whatever you want to call it. So it is what it is. Like be expressive, express yourself. However it is. And there's gonna be millions of people that function with it, you know what I mean? Uh, so I don't get into the judgment. Big facts. So what's your uh your uh, goals for as far as not music but what I would say like um 
outside of uh, music, like stuff that's coming from the success of music, but what are some goals outside of it, the things that you feel like you want to achieve? Um, uh, there's definitely things that, you know, are in the brain, continue just to build the label, of course, and the Empire here. There's definitely other things, and you know, we've been working on behind the scenes and goals that we have to go on for us now. Um, but a lot more than just music, for sure. Yo, we offer a one-month radio rotation on Catch a Five Radio. Your single spun in the club by DJ P-Town and DJ Chuck Fresh. And also an interview on Catch a Five Radio with your boy Blaze Hunter Knife Wonder. And that ain't all. Also, you're going to get radio play on Blaze It Up Radio. Six plays a day and be added to the mainstream and independent power mix. Seven plays on Catch a Vibe. Six plays on Blaze It Up. Two plays in the club. You can't miss it, man. All for the amazing price of $150. Now stop playing. Yeah, you got any, you got any cat on the you know, any younger cats on the label that you are uh, grooming to you know come out. Absolutely, I got a whole roster of, of guys from my guys from the back. Uh, Spade Ripper, Jeff James, mixed by Blitz, Bacon. Like this, this, this is a gang of Don P, um, Kid Cone, Angel. This, this, we have we have we have a. Uh, we have a squad and everybody's coming out right now. Kipper dropping singles and everything right now. I just got to drop this July 28th. My artist, uh, Make the General, dropping all the four. It's featuring me. Before that, I know. Uh, drive, Pike done drive, Jeff James done drop. So we're. Yeah, we're we we cooking right now. Yeah, y'all cooking hard right now. So what, what's some advice that to, to prepare them, um, you know, for the game? To, or what are things that you're telling them that maybe wasn't told to you when you were in their position? Um, just structure. You know what I'm saying? How you structure and being prepared. Uh, record. Get a body of work to them. And then we come and start giving to them. You know, just, I think just the inner things that I've done learned. Um, also, you know, camaraderie of everybody rooting for each other. Both, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's success is everybody's success. You know what I'm saying? So just building a, a team. You feel me? Everybody with the same mission and uh, plan and ambitions working towards the same goal. Love it. Uh, dream collab. Anybody, uh, past, present, uh, what's a dream collab with Stevie Stone? Bust Ryan. Whew. Yes, sir. I, I have, you know, I, I love the. Uh, this is the one time I like to. I like to pop the chest. I I have the privilege to have a, a collab with with, with Buster. You know. Uh, oh shit. It's, it's it's nice, nice. You feel me? That's dope. And it's crazy how it came about. Big shout out to the homie DJ Epps. Um, it, it was a an accident. You know, I'm in the the, the business of taking advantage of whatever opportunity uh, and making an opportunity. So. You know, you know, DJ Epps, big shout out to him. He uh, is a DJ out of Miami um, who he, he normally interviews a lot of different celebs and, you know, people of that nature. And, um, he was going to do one with Buster and Buster was, you know, releasing that, his song, Boom. So he was like, yo, yo, I'm going to let you up to do this with Buster. Da, 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 da. I'll check this out. So, you know, I went out my way. I, I, I produced two, so I reproduced the beat exactly and, and you know, made a verse, you know, made a way for the sake of verse drop that and did that everybody they team they uh loved it epsom loved it they broke it that thing started spinning a couple stages picked it up so i was just mine hell yeah yeah, yeah extremely blown bro like no, I, no. yeah yeah like i couldn't i thought you know it was gonna play one time on it of course i was aiming for whatever but for it to happen as easy as it did it was it wasn't nothing complicated when it was it was great so right place right time Right sound, right everything. Stars just the pandemic definitely created um, some opportunities that you know to me it was a blessing in disguise. Pandemic, like um, what were some? Uh, I already know there's a bunch of cons of pandemic with you know people dying of COVID, things of that nature, not being able to go outside. What were some pros for the pandemic? You know when it came to you, music, and you know what you had going on. Uh, just to buckle in, dial in, you know what I'm saying? I, I started a fashion clothing line during the pandemic. It was just, you know, kind of gathering 
everything, you know, being on the road so much. I think at that point in time, for the, for the pandemic, pandemic, whatever you call it, we was doing like damn near 100 uh, shows a year. So, slowing all the way down, gather myself, my thoughts, you know, being in a scenario was like, okay, well, shit, if we can't hit the road, we have to have other ancillary, other different things we have to have this bringing in currency, you know what I'm saying? So, it definitely upped my business sense. Yeah, so to speak on the on the fashion line, like, uh, what's the name of the fashion line and how's it going? Gummy Bear. Yeah. It's Gummy Bear, G-U-M-I-B-E-A-R-Z. And uh, stay tuned, we got a whole new lineup coming through. I love it. What's the what's the, who's the line like geared to like uh um... Well there's a gummy sport, you know what I'm saying? So that's more uh, like uh two colors, uh, definitely sport attire, females and dudes and things of that nature. The regular fashion line is more brighter colors, you know what I'm saying? So for the young, youthful, uh, bright. Dig what I'm saying? Bro, salute to that, bro. That's that's huge right there, man. Salute, God, dog. Oh, that's crazy. I, I love that. I really, really do love that. Yeah, hey, I, I was not prepared for uh the, the clothing line, bro. That's that's hard. How did you come up with the name? Like, what what inspired the name? Like, I'm, I'm extremely interested in, the, in, in you know gummy bears. That's crazy. I don't know. I was like four o'clock in the morning on the on the smoking, designing the shoe. Started with the shoe, and then once I designed that, I was like, you "Gotta go right to the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel, I feel that, bro. I feel that. Like you are now tuned in to Wildin' Out Mondays on Catch a Vibe Radio. Let's get a word from my sponsors. First, my personal favorite, Steel Bridge Coffee. Y'all know what it is: four one-pound bags for fifty-six dollars. Steel Bridge Coffee, www.steelbridgecoffee.com. And you can't forget Vito's Gummies. You get you a one pack, 10 count for only $46. Y'all scan them QR codes and get you either the official slurpage of the I Feel Good Morning Show, Steel Bridge Coffee, or you get you some Vito's Gummies. Y'all know what it is. Now back to our regular scheduled program. Definitely, man. Good luck with the clothing line. Is there any, um, you know, um, are there any like you know uh, movie roles, uh, TV series, any type of acting? Yes, yes, we're working on a few different things. Uh, documentary working on. There's a couple of pieces that uh, far scripts I do have voiceover stuff. So there's a lot of little bitty things in the work. In the work. Yeah, I love that man. Yes, yeah, so, so yeah, you you kind of knocking out all the fields: uh, music, fashion, you know, acting. You know what I'm saying? Building up the the label, yeah, 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 bro. There's a lot of things. So um, the rest of 2023, um, y- y'all doing? You guys going to be doing a, a tour or? Yeah, so I'm, 2023. I'll be hitting the road a lot. Uh, Take majority this weekend, so uh, maybe October. I may do like a 10, 15 day run. It's more like dropping a lot of music. Uh, the, the label will be dropping uh, a compilation as well. Me and all the artists, my new artists, uh, and all of them dropping their projects as well. So, like, flood the people with music and uh, go to these cities to touch as well. Man, I love that, man. What What does it take for um, any independent artist? I know there's a bu- bunch of gonna be watching this to uh, possibly get a maybe a feature with you or. Uh, what's the process to take to get a feature with you or anybody that you know on the label? By booking at odyssey.com, booking at odyssey, A H D A S E E dot com. That's what that's what uh, we're all booking. Yeah, speaking of collab, what um, what, what um, what was the mindset behind doing the doing the release where because, uh, like I said, that song with J Prime and I, uh, with the shot song, it was a I, uh, you know, he ended up letting me know after speaking that you put out a, a thing where people could get the beats with your, you know, hooks on them and things right. and release projects. What was the mindset behind, you know, doing that for the artist? Well, Wishmaster was already doing the Wishmaster. You guys don't know uh, 
super talented, multi-platinum, Grammy-nominated producer. So he was already doing with the Black Artists. And uh, we got together. We've been the homies since way back in the day. We were, we were before we were friends. And uh, it was really for the rap community, the music community, the people that really couldn't afford what we normally charge for a verse or a feed. We allow the single really pack for a certain amount of time to make artists can get it, utilize it, stream it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that was the whole thing about it, to give them that. That's cool. I love that. What's crazy is it was before that actually happened, um, like just before I, um, like he asked me to be on the track or any of that, I was always against um in my mind i just didn't never i just never thought it was the uh a good idea and i was like oh it sucked because if this person got the song and then the same other one got the song and what if this would blow it da, 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 da. i was on that tip but when i saw the success of what j prime was able to do um with it from how you, you know and, and it elevated for the things that he was able to do you know originally so um definitely a big shout out for people, you know, like me or, and any of the, the doubters, that's cool that um, that your your vision is on a, a whole other level. So big shouts out to the vision. Is there any um, you know thing that you want would, would want to give to just the rest of the world, any content creator, rapper, singer, whatever? Um, just a message. The floor is yours to give it to them. So I think like that. Whatever you want to do in life to be successful is a certain amount of time that we have. You can't waste time to go hard because there's no time travel. You got a certain gap when that time is up, it's up. So go out, you know what I'm saying? Get lost in whatever you're doing, believe in it. Yeah. And uh, take your journey. Yeah, I love that there's no time travel. That's crazy. <laughs> I love that. We can't go back. Come on. At all. You feel me? So yeah, definitely. So the way I'm gonna end this, obviously, you know, we gon' we gonna blast the single. So uh, you know, just introduce the single real quick uh, for the people. Most most definitely, this is my new single called Break, produced by Young Fog, Stevie Stone. M -M. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Boy Plays on the Knife Wonder. That's Stevie Stone. Wild or not, Monday is Catch a Vibe Radio. We out this piece. No. Uh, they count me out, well you can't count I'm well seasoned, I be well in doubt I am him They question some friends, they in and out I'm still the chosen one on my accounts Deep down, I'm a great one Prophecy written, no mistakes, none Take one When you be shining, they tend to hate one Fake ones I see many levels past phase one I'm pressure, a different placement Diamond in the rough There is no control in me Cause I put my heart on my Sleep. Smoking mirrors in the air when they missed it. You've been in the presence of the great, great, great. They overlooking me, wake states, stay way late. I'm in position.